What's up, Jaguar fans? It's your boy UC at Jaguar Report with JinJag.com, and earlier this week I made a video comparing Solomon Thomas versus Jonathan Allen and explaining my thoughts on them and what their fits with the Jaguars would be. And in that video, I hinted that I was going to be coming out with a film room video on those guys. So this is going to be my first edition of that, and in this video, I'm going to go over Solomon Thomas and what I see from him and how I think he may fit in with the Jaguar on the Jaguars defense. So with all that said, step into my film room. All right, guys. So in this video, I'm basically going to do Solomon Thomas's final game, his bowl game against North Carolina, where you played against Mitch Trubisky. And, um... Just before, a little precursor before I make this video, the NFL is taking down my videos because of copyright stuff, but the, if the NCAA is watching this video, just know that I'm allowed to use this video because of the fair use doctrine of the United States copyright law, Title 17 U.S. Code Section 107 to 118. So I'm, only, I'm using this video for educational purposes only. I'm not making any financial gain out of it. So with all that said, let's get into it. Now, like I've been telling you guys, I like Solomon Thomas a lot more in this uh, defensive tackle, this three technique position that I do on the edge, on the edge, just because I think his hands are, I think his hands are really good for the interior. I think with his, he doesn't have enough length to necessarily play defensive in, but I'll go ahead and show you some of the stuff I like about him in this video. All right, so you're gonna see right from the start of this play, he's gonna automatically get some pressure on the quarterback. Now, what basically happened this play, they're going to show a replay of it, but he's going to drive this guard into the center, and then what that's going to do is going to give him leverage to do his signature spin move. This guy is great. This guy has a great spin move because he has really good control over his body. You know, it's something that you don't usually see in a guy this size, but you'll see um, he, drives his, he drives his guard into the guy. He spins, and then look at him. He's already got a step on this guard. He's got... A free run to the quarterback. You'd like to see him make this play, but you know that's a good job of getting pressure on the guy. And then you'll see again he's lined up at the three technique. He's gonna get look 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 where he's got his hands on this guy. This is what you want as a three technique as a defensive lineman. You want to get you see his lids lower than this guy. You're gonna see him get up. Look at look at his hands. He's got him up. And at this point he can do he can do anything he wants with this guy. He's gonna keep him up. Force a little pile over here. You know, you're going to... He does his job right here because this he's, he's blocking where this guy wants to run to. Now, when he comes back, he's going to get a gain off this play because this linebacker, that's his assignment to come in there and tackle him. But you're going to see he got... He bit on the inside move and he goes for a first down. Now, again, he's at the three technique. You know, he's not really too much that play, but... I just I like him so much more at the three techniques. He's so fast off the ball. Now where's he at this play? All right, so three technique again lines up, gets his hands on him. But look at look how he gets double teamed here. But that's not a good example. But one thing I love about him is his hands, man. He's got quick hands. Like, ugh. I mean, this is just kind of a lot of power here, but. You'll see, you'll see he pretty much swims that guy, and then this guy comes and picks him up. And he's not even expecting this guy to pick him up, but he still drives him right to the ground. Look, he gets him on his butt. He gets at the quarterback's feet. That's pressure. That's good. You want to disrupt the quarterback. Of course, sacks are key, but, you know, again, he's at the, that three technique. He's just playing to run safe. Not really. Wasn't really in position to make a tackle there, but, again, he's at that left spot. And then... Here's him. Here's his what he can do with his hands again, man. You're gonna see him. First of all, look at his look at his burst out the ball. He's ahead of all these other caps on the defense. And then you look like he's being stood up. He's gonna swim him out. He's gonna be like, get your hands off me. He's already got him in a better spot. This uh, this running back does a good job of picking up the bl picking up that rush because otherwise he probably would have had a free shot on a quarterback. But you know he's still in there disrupting. He pretty much owns to do the whole play. Then 
at the end. You kind of see him run out of breath a little bit there. But it's all good. He did his thing. He's a big guy. My man Soto. He's a big dude. All right, but not really much going on that play, but he lines up a little bit further out. He's he's kind of on the tackle right there. And one reason why I don't like him in defensive end, he's just not as good in space. I think he's just a lot quicker if he can just burst through a gap in the middle of the offensive line because he's just so much quicker. You'll see later he's just so much, oof, he's just so much quicker off the middle. I mean, you'll see him this play. Just look at uh look at this dude just come off the ball. Again, he's first one out. He comes low. You can't really see too much about what he does this guy because I don't have the all 22. I'd like to have the all 22 because it's a lot easier to see what kind of moves they make, but you know, he's going to come in. He's going to immediately he's going to he he takes care he takes care of his blocker. He says he comes to the block, "Get your ass out of my face." And he's going to come in here and make the tackle. That's that's good football right there, guys. That's what you want to see out of one of these guys. He's making plays all over the field, causing disruption. He's in the backfield. All right, so this is more of a 3-4 look where he's at, like, kind of defensive end position. But this is this is really good recognition by him. I mean, he's not going to make the tackle, but you're going to see he's going to wait for this guy to come in here and then clear out the center and guard kind of like earlier. But And then he's going to come around the edge and, hopefully have a clear shot on the quarterback. But what he's going to do, he's going to come over here and then realize at this moment there's nobody over here and there's four offensive linemen about to be behind him. So he's gonna, he recognizes that. He stops, puts his toe in the dirt, comes out here, you know, has good ground, try to make a run on the play. But, you know, that's good. That's good read recognition. You want to see that out of a defensive lineman just because that shows a lot of smarts, you know, a lot of good instinct right there. And you got to make that decision at a split moment. All right. He's kind of at the interior again. But, man, this this guy's power, man. This guy's always, this guy's always in the backfield. You'll see him lined up at this three technique again. But you'll see again. Look at his head compared to everyone else's, man. He's got great burst. He comes in there, outside shoulder, hooks the guy, drives through. You know, he doesn't make the play, but you like to, you like to see him get in the backfield. He's not wrong with that. All right, he's at this three technique again. Also, let me know if you guys want me to make more of these videos. If you like it, leave a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to me. I'm trying to build my subscriber base up a little bit. Trying to trying to look all legit and whatnot, get those numbers up. But you'll see he's a little he's a little farther out this play. He gets double teamed this time. Not really much he can do there. Homeboy picks it off. Shout out to him. All right, you'll see. Yeah, you gotta. They're pretty much at this point. They're trying to get guys to chip in for him to kind of help out on the blocks because you'll see this again. You'll see. Look at this burst, man. This is why I like him on the inside. He's so quick off the ball. He's able to blitz these gaps. Like, look at him. Like, look at him compared to the guy next to him. He's in the backfield. This guy has to pick him up again. It's hard for him to even cover him, but or to pick him up. But, again, on the interior. Not really too much there. Gets up, throws him out of the way, but. Nowhere to nowhere to really make a play, but oh, the swim move, man! Look at him. This isn't a highlight tape. This is this is the first half of his North Carolina game. He comes off. He sees this opening right here. He's gonna touch him and say, "Get your ass off me!" See, you ain't gotta mess around with these guards. Like that's not that's not power right there. That's that's speed and that's good use of his hands. You'll see. You'll see. Shows him out of the way. Speed gets him there. Now make that tackle, homie. You want to see him? I, you see him, you know, not necessarily tackle the guy a lot. But, all right, but you'll see this play. He's lined up at the defensive end. They move him all around. But you saw how quick he looked that last play. But look at him this play. It's like when you give him more speed and you put him on more athletic, uh, athletic tackles. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the play before. 
Look at... Not that play. Alright, look at him this play. Look how quick. It's like he's so quick off the ball. Boom. All of a sudden, he's in the backfield. But if you go forward to this play... Let's go back a little bit. If you go, for, if you go forward to this play and he gets out the edge, it's just not as fast, man. And if the Jaguars... I want Jaguars to draft... If they were to draft a guy top five, I want a true edge rusher. I don't. I feel like we're just so good at that interior line right now that you know you're gonna make get the most impact out of a guy that can play. Uh, you know, do that edge rush position. But you'll see right here, man. Just look at this guy's hands. Look at him. Whoop! Get out of my face. See, man, he'll be able to dominate some of these guards in the league. But if you give him more space against these tackles, I don't know. But, you know, he's going to be kind of double teamed a little bit there. He's, out the, he's on the edge again. See, it's kind of slow for me. He doesn't really have much bend around the edge. Just, I mean, if you look at him on the edge, you just, like, you, I see a lot of um, draft scouts putting him at, you know, these guys mocking him at defensive end. But I just think he's so much better, would be so much better at the three technique. But if he plays that three technique, he's going to have to get a little bigger. Like, not necessarily bigger, but get his lower body a little stronger to really be able to drive these guys. This is kind of a funny play because this umpire actually causes this fumble. Boom! See, man? That's good umpire right there. That's caught. That's forced fumble. That's That gets on the stat book. But yeah, man, this is another good read recognition by him. You see him come off here with power. Boom. But you're gonna he's going to notice that. This guy's right there with them, and, and all, we're, we're all the offensive linemen. They're, none of them are on their butt. They're all up. He sees that he's going to make the play over there, so he comes over here, tries to get get a good angle to slow this play up. That's good instincts. I like that. Now, three technique again. You see him do this, not necessarily that much in this game, but one thing that he's really good at is this stunt move. Like, he's able to come up here. You know, show uh, show like he's about to come through the edge, allow somebody to kind of open up a little bit for him, open up a little hole, wait for him a little bit, and that's when he's able to come around that edge and, you know, do his thing. But, yeah, this is just kind of, they're kind of chucking it up, trying to get something here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the fourth quarter just because, you know, I, t I try to keep my videos as short as I can for you guys. Get your Get your news, get your information quickest manner possible so you can get on with your fun wild lives all right so he's at the top of the screen again Oof. yeah man he the way he just bursts through this line look at him get your ass out of my face just whoop -ah! whoop -ah! get you TKO, boom. Just got him. All right, he's more at the nose right here, more of a zero technique. He, he on the ground. It's all good though. White DBs, white DBUs of America picking it off over here. All right, now he's gonna be in a three technique again. Boom. See, he ain't giving up on that run play. See, he owns his 51, dude. This dude wants... He, he took... He taken all the stuff from him, man. Make the play in backfield. Good play, Soto. He was just kind of waiting for holes to open up there. Not too much going on. Yeah, you'll see this play. See, man? Always the first one in the backfield. I mean, he sees the plays going the other way, so not really much you can do there. But I like this guy. I like this guy's burst. Now he's lined up off sides right here, but no, I mean no, man. Like you got to have that bend around the edge. He just kind of gets held up at the at the end. Like you want to see him be able to power through that, but he doesn't necessarily have much speed, so it's not much. And like his arms aren't very long, so he's not really able to do any kind of win any kind of big swim moves around the edge to get that look he's offsides again man come on son skip for a little bit all 
Alright, again, he's in the backfield. Oh, this is, uh, this is that same player. Yeah, man, I really done one of these film videos before. I'm not, I'm not, not a coach or anything. I don't, no, never really play the game. But this is kind of my perspective from a fan's view. So take it for what it's worth. All right, you'll see him on the edge again now. Is what I'm saying, man. He's just not, not as explosive, man. I mean, he gets in there, but I like him at that, that three technique, that inside spot, get through them gaps. Uh, he owns this dude all day. I mean, he he does the pretty decent play right here, but you know he got he got the good he got good leverage on the guy. But like I say, man, line him line him up in the middle here. Ooh, see, look, this is this is another good read by him. He's gonna see that. You know, he's gonna be like this this guard right here. You'll see, he just lets him go right by him. He's gonna know, like, man, these guys aren't doing that on purpose. I'm gonna hold on. He holds on to him. Uses him as leverage to come over here and get this dude. Solomon Thomas ain't going to play that game with you, son. You can't fool him. You know, he's been owning these dudes all day. He ain't about to let this go by. He's like, nope, sorry. I'm going to get your ass. Take your lunch, son. Hey, he's trying to get that cheddar, man. He's spilling his draft style of this game. Look, man, get your... Boom! Woo! All right, on the edge again. He's getting double teamed. They're like, we don't want none of you, son. Shout out Mitch Trubisky chucking up there. All right, he's on the inside again. Oh. Oh. Come on, son. You're the only one that moved that play, boy. All right, whatever. We're going to give him a pass. We're going to give him a pass. But if you in a Jaguar uniform, man, stuff ain't going to fly with me. All right, he's at the inside spot again. God, just the power that... Woo! Ah. Oh, just the way he abuses this man, like, right off the right off the snap of the ball. I mean, he takes this dude. I mean, this is just power all the way through. Boom, boom. And then at the end, he sees that he's going to have a clear shot on the quarterback. Gets rid of the block. Drops him like a bad habit. Look at him. So I got that five pick, man. I don't think there's any way this guy lasts to the Jaguars. I think this guy gets, I think he's better than Jonathan Allen. I think he gets snagged up by either San Francisco or the Bears. Yeah, he throws him down. He's all excited. Good for you, Soto. The Australian sensation. All right, so he's going to be on that little zero technique lined up on the center. I'm just going to watch y'all. Again, man, when he gets on his edge, I don't like it. Like, you're going to see him get out here, and then he's just not as fast of a player. See, his strength is if he can break through that interior of the line and just get that speed to, you know, use his hands to get past the guys. He gets double teamed a little bit right there. But yeah, man, I like this guy's hand. My favorite things about him are his hands and just the way he gets gets off the snap of the ball. Look, they ain't playing around with him anymore. They're double teaming him because they're trying to win this thing. All right, he's at that three technique again. Help a little bit. Not necessarily in the backfield that play. You see, he's on the edge again. He's gonna stunt on the inside a little bit. But yeah, man, let me know if you guys want some more of these videos. I'll be glad to put them out there. All right, so he's lined up on the center of this play. See, man, just, I just feel like he's always getting through this line. Like, look at this. Like, he powers through this guy and he just pushes him out of the way. Like, this this center has responsibility on this guy. And then now he's over here chasing him from behind. It's good football, man. Look at that. Like, he wastes no time with these blockers. All right, so he's going to be lined up right there. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Look at the way he blows up this dude. Get your ass out of my face, man. 
Don't you bring that up in here. See, like, this play, he might not have necessarily made the tackle or anything, but look at the running back. Look where he wants to go. He wants to run up here. But look at this Look at this roadblock caused by my man Soto. And then that's when his buddy over here, I think he's like a linebacker, that's when he's going to come up and clean up for him. See, he's on the stat book, but homeboy over here caused the play. All right. Here he is again. Not too, not too much time to really do anything there. Third goal. See his play. His responsibility. This play was to come around that. This edge. He was supposed to wait for this guy to come in here. Puts this guard over there, and that's what's going to open up for him over there. But he sees this whole play is going to come over here. So he's just going to. He's going to come over here. Then he's going to play more of a quarterback spy. Get himself in a position. Chucks it up. Touchdown. All right, man. So right here, this is the game. What's Solomon Thomas going to do? His last play as a Stanford Cardinal, I think they are, ends the year. But he showed off a lot what he can do. I mean, you'll see him come in here immediately, burst out the line. And what I've been saying this whole game, guys, he's always the first one through, man. He swims this dude, uses his hands. Like, look how close he is already a quarterback. This ball's been snapped for like a second. Not even a second. He comes in here, already has a clear shot on a quarterback. Nothing can... Look at this guy right here. If he's not there, all he has to do is throw it on this little spot right here, but he comes out here. You know, he'd be able to probably get rid of it right now, maybe. But... Look, he takes him down with one hand. My man, Solomon Thomas. He's a good player, man. I wouldn't be mad that Jaguar snagged him, but the thing is, man, I if I'm going to draft a guy in the top five, a defensive lineman, I want them to be a true edge rusher, especially given our roster right now. You know, we've got some good interior linemen with Malik Jackson, Avery Jones. I think you might see Calais Campbell probably rush a lot from the inside, but you know, you never know with that, but I just, I want, you know, like I've been saying, I like Fournette, but I wouldn't be mad with this guy. Great player. He's got a great future. But, yeah, I mean, with all that said, that's my first film room video. So if you like it, leave a like. Let me know if you guys want more. Let me know what players you guys may want me to break down in the future. And, you know, be sure to check out ginjag.com for all your latest Jaguar news. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, also ginjag.com. You know, it's be sure to become a member of it. It's twenty-five dollars till the end of the month, and it goes up to forty. And then what that includes is you got pretty much all your tailgates covered for. I know if you're an out towner like me, it'd be hard to find your tailgates, but um, you know they've got free drinks, free um, food if you're a member. So the twenty-five dollars pretty much pays for itself, and not only that, you get a free shirt, membership card, and you also get discounts at all kinds of local um, Jacksonville stores like Sports Mania and Mullet Mushroom, places like that. So, you know, all that's good stuff. So, with all that said, man, this is your boy UCF Jag, while report with ginjag.com. I'll catch you guys later.